We start with a simple slap bracelet. Slap bracelets come with a plastic or fabric coating. You need to peel this off. Once the outer coating is removed, there's a glue residue left behind. Use dissolvent or some other solvent to remove this glue. Now, take a pair of scissors and cut yourself a nice little disc. Make sure to remove any sharp points as they might puncture your bag. Now we need to punch a couple of slits in our disc. Use cardboard and a razor knife to punch two slits in your disc. Be careful, don't cut yourself. The slits are open and jagged and need to be closed. Close the slits by pounding it flat with a hammer. You want the slits to grate on each other when the activator is clicked. Next we need to make a bag to hold our solution. I buy clear vinyl from Walmart. Thicker is better because it resists punctures better. If your bag gets even a tiny hole, the sodium acetate solution won't stay a solution once cooled. Now add your favorite logo or design to the inside of the bag by coloring with permanent markers. If you color on the outside of the bag, it will leach onto your counter when hot. Don't forget to reverse your letters. Now we seal all the edges of the bag. I use a heat sealer, but it is also possible to do this with a flat iron. While possible, it is harder to tell if you have a good seal. If you use a flat iron, I would recommend that you fill your bag with water first and use a significant amount of pressure to test your seals. You don't want a seal to fail with hot sodium acetate solution inside. Let your seal cool before you pull it off. That way the material doesn't stretch too thin. Seal all four edges of the bag. Cut off one corner of the bag and insert your activator. Doing it this way will make it so you have a smaller edge to seal once the solution is added. Now let's make our solution. Amounts don't have to be exact. I used two cups of water and then added sodium acetate until it was the right consistency. You'll see that later. I ended up adding about two and a half cups of sodium acetate. I used a meat pounder to help pound out the lumps. You can make your own sodium acetate by mixing vinegar and baking soda in the right proportions, but I find this takes a long time and isn't cheaper. I like to buy it from a store pre-made. Keep adding sodium acetate powder and mixing it in. It should all dissolve. Eventually, you will get to a point where a thin film of crystals forms on the top of your solution, even though it is near boiling. 
you want your solution right at the point where the crystals start to form. If you want, you can test out your solution and your activator by using a thick freezer Ziploc bag. It works for a test, but it doesn't work well for a long-term bag. Sometimes you have to twist and bend your activator a little bit in order to get it to work. You can use food coloring to change the color of the solution if you want. Use a funnel to add the solution to your bag. Careful, it's very hot. Any sodium acetate in the area of the seal will prevent a good seal. Wipe off the inside edges with a wet rag. If you get any sodium acetate on yourself, wash it off quickly as it's very hot. Once the bag is cooled, boil it in water to reactivate. 